this is your first glimpse of it as you arrive. London, England. Here is London Airport. You may be coming home on leave from Singapore or Lagos, visiting from Dublin or Glasgow. You may be passing through en route from Rio to Calcutta, from Stockholm to Johannesburg. You may arrive at high noon or in the small hours of the morning. Here they all touch down. Americans and Frenchmen, Scandinavians, Belgians, Argentinians. The airborne traffic of every nation of the globe. And in this new age of the air, what does our island look like to the pilot? The sky above it is traversed by great main roads at different levels, 10 miles wide, signposted by beacons and fan markers. Airways, they call them. The pilot can't see the white lines or the signposts. No, but he can hear them. The different signals from his radio tell him whether he's flying on the right or the left of the road. To make the airways safe and simple for the pilots of the whole world, the Ministry of Civil Aviation has divided the British Isles into regions, each of which controls the movement of aircraft in its area and supplies pilots with the information they require. Trans-Canada, for instance, heading for London, reports to the southeastern region. Scandinavian Airlines, bound from New York to Oslo, keeps touch with the Scottish region. The Flying Dutchman, leaving for Amsterdam, gets his weather reports from the northern region at Preston. One of the busiest regions is the southeastern, controlling from its headquarters at Uxbridge the approaches to London's airports. Here they provide radio contact between every plane in flight and the world waiting for it below. Just now they're in touch with an Air France liner, call sign Fox Uncle Jig heading in over the coast. A pilot picks up the radio range at Chatham, an audible signpost guiding him along the airway. Next, the fan marker at Ashford, another milestone. As he crosses it, his indicator light comes on. London Airways, this is Fox Uncle Jig. We are over Ashford at 4,500 feet. So their voices crowd in. One language, English, in many different accents. London Airways, London Airways from Iberia Easy, Charlie Able, Charlie Fox, Iberia Easy, Charlie Able, Charlie Fox, New Read, over. London Airways, this is Scandinavian Sugar Easy, Baker Bakery, New Read, over. Hello, London Airways, London Airways, this is Air India, Victor, Ted, Dark, Able, Roger, calling New Read, over. And there's other traffic to be moved as well. The RAF wants to transfer a squadron of vampires across one of the busiest commercial airways. But a Stratocruiser is coming in along Airway Green 1 at 9,500 feet. Very well. Tell those vampires to climb to 13,000. That'll give them comfortable clearance. Now, suddenly, all those different accents have become aircraft overhead. But they can't all land at once. When traffic is heavy, they must stack and wait their turn. Even the gleaming Hermes must join the queue. This is how the system works. Each arriving plane joins the stack at the top and works its way down the spiral, landing in regular turn. These days, it's no easy matter to keep order in the air. Some of the new planes, like the Comet, fly almost at the speed of sound and at great altitudes. Jets and turbojets with their high fuel consumption cannot be delayed. Yet somehow they're all safely fitted in. And nowadays they keep the traffic of the nations moving 
even when the weather's at its worst. Here, the London Airways traffic controller receives the flight progress strip of a plane from the continent. London radar watches his journey in to ensure safe passage. They're listening to everything that's going on, and if need be, they join in. she comes, over the channel. A crew listening for the familiar signposts of Airway Amber 2, the homeward road. London Airways from George Abel, Mike Abel, Dog. We are crossing the flight information region boundary at 6,500 feet, estimating Ashford at 1802, over. Beeline, George, Abel, Mike, Abel, Dog, uh, this is London Airways. You are cleared to maintain 6,500 feet to the Epsom range via Ashford and Sevenoaks. There is no delay expected. Over. London Airways from George, Abel, Dog, Roger, will report Ashford 6,500 feet. The penetrating beams of London radar are watching him. Visibility? 800 yards, but no delay expected. London Airways from Beeline, George Abel Dog. We're over Ashford fan marker at 6,500 feet. A few years ago, he would have had to turn back or land elsewhere. Now, thanks to ground control approach, he can come straight in. They'll talk him down. London Airways from Beeline, George Abel, Dog, over Seven Oaks, fan marker at 6,500 feet, over. Beeline, George Abel, Dog, Roger, contact London Approach for further clearance, over. Now he's being handed over from Airways to London Airport Approach Control. In normal weather, they'd bring him in. But in bad weather, they hand him straight over to the men who will guide him down on a blind approach. The traffic director and the talk-down controller, out in their caravan near the runway. George Abel Mike Abel Dog, you're on final approach now, eight miles from touchdown. Will you listen out on this frequency for London talk-down, over. George Abel Mike Abel Dog, this is London talk-down. Continue on your heading of 285, fly at 1500 feet how do you hear me? Over. London talk down from George Abel Dog. Receiving you loud and clear. Over. Roger Abel Dog. Do not acknowledge further instructions. Your heading of 285 is OK. Seven and a half miles from touchdown. Lose altitude now at the rate of 500 feet per minute. You are cleared to land from this approach. You are two and a half miles from touchdown. Check your undercarriage and flaps for landing. You are on the glide path. Your heading of 280 is quite okay. Turn left, left now, three degrees, heading 277. I say again, heading 277. You're on the center line now, a mile and three quarters from touchdown. On the center line, on the glide path, mile and a half from touchdown. On the center line, a mile and a quarter from touchdown. Three quarters of a mile from touchdown. You are on the center line, steady on the glide path, 400 yards from the threshold. Talk down completed, out. And here she is, on time. Whatever the weather, foul or fair, the constant stream of traffic is brought in safely on the beam.
Speedbird George Abel Love, Zebra King. This is London Airways. You are cleared to maintain 10,500 feet to the Epsom range via Ashford and Sevenoaks.